Hi, this is Mr. West, and today you're watching a walkthrough video for MassSalemanders.com. This is Dividing Fractions Sheet 1. There's tons of other great worksheets and tutorials on MassSalemanders if you want to check them out. So we're dividing today. So this is dividing fractions, and it's sometimes tough to visualize. But I wanted to talk about something just so you know why we do this inversion thing and how do we go about this process. So first off, if we had 10 divided by two, we're splitting it into two equal parts. Well, we know that answer is five. But another way to consider this is taking half of 10. And to take half of 10, you multiply by one half. Well, we get the same thing, five. Notice here the difference is we have this divide by two in times one half. See how it's inverted. That ha so happens to be that two is the reciprocal of one half. The easiest way to see that is two over one becomes one over two. You just flip the numerator with the denominator. Well, that's how we're gonna do all these problems. So here we have two thirds divided by one half. It's tough to think about mathematically, but if we change it into a multiplication problem, it becomes fairly simple algorithmically. So first we have the denominators there, three and one. And notice how we change this guy. So I'm gonna make sure I highlight this. We change this one half into two. So the process that I like to teach my students is keep, change, flip. So this is how it goes. You're going to keep this guy the same. You're gonna keep him. Then you're gonna change, okay, that's the C stands for change in case you're wondering. So keep, change, you're gonna change this into multiplication and then you're going to flip this fraction. So I've already highlighted the fraction that we flipped but I also wanna highlight that we have changed it into multiplication, and as you can see, we've clearly kept that the same. So now it becomes simply top times top, the numerators times each other, and the denominators times each other, the uh, bottom times the bottom, okay? So what that becomes is two times two, just trying to catch up on my colors here, two times two is four, and then we have three times one, which is simply three. So my answer, I don't know why I stacked it like that. Let me just move this over. So my answer is going to be four thirds. And that's it, that's what you do. So again, I'm gonna reiterate that we're gonna keep change flip with all these. And you can see a lot of the examples are done for you. And I'm gonna highlight that first, okay? So let's come up with a coloring system here. We're gonna keep this one the same. Okay, the first one we're gonna keep. We are going to change this from division into multiplication, and then we flip this one to be the reciprocal. I need a good reciprocal color. Let's do this pink. So this is what we're going to flip. And like I said, we do the tops times each other and then the bottoms times each other. So the top times the top, I'm gonna change this to the pencil, is going to be nine, and the bottom times the bottom is gonna be four times one, which is just four, and there's my answer. My answer. So I do nine over four, and that's it. I'm gonna do one that has not been set up yet, okay? So let's have our keep, change, flip. We're gonna keep this one the same, okay? That's our first step. We're gonna change this to multiplication. So you can see it's already been changed to multiplication. I need to keep this the same, I need to write it in. So let me go ahead and write that in. So I'm gonna keep this the same, three over eight times, I change it from divide into multiplication, and I am going to flip this guy. So instead of two over five, I need to change this to be flipped, which is five over two. Now I just do top times top, bottom times bottom, three times five is 15, eight times two is 16, and I'm done. One of the things you wanna know is you'll wanna reduce if possible. So if you know you can reduce this, meaning the top and bottom have the same factors, make sure you keep that in mind because you're gonna wanna reduce. We'll do a few more and then we're gonna go ahead and just wrap it up and you guys can ask any questions in the comments section below if you have them. So I'm gonna go do this without highlighter this time. So I'm gonna keep this guy the same, the first guy, first guy. First fraction, so I keep him the same. I'm gonna change this to multiplication, already done. And then I'm going to flip this to be the reciprocal of three over seven, which is seven over three. I Now I am going to multiply the top times the top, which is 35 over 36, and that is my final answer. I don't think there's gonna be reducing in this one. Uh, this one there might be. Let's go ahead and do number 12. So I have four over five, keep that the same. Change it to multiplication, already did, and I flip it to be 10 over seven. Now I'm gonna multiply top times top, bottom times bottom, I get 40 over 35. Keep in mind though, you might be able to reduce. In this case, you can. They have a common factor. The common factor is five. I'm gonna divide both the top and bottom by five, and I get eight 
over 7, and that's my final better answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment and let me know which question you need help on. If you have a question on another concept, also be sure to leave a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.